Hey guys, this is Beatrice from 38 Visuals and today I'm going to show you how to add custom fonts to your Squarespace site by using CSS. We're going to use a CSS rule called font face and this is going to allow your site to download a font that's hosted elsewhere and display it. This is pretty useful if the font you decided for your brand is not found on Squarespace's font list and if you know it's not a website font or something that your visitors probably don't have on their devices. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to need is the files of your font. So I'm going to go to the font.com and I'm going to look for the font I want to install. This one is called Luna. One thing to make sure of is that it's either 100% free or if you're downloading it from somewhere else, you have the license to use it on your site. Make sure of that before you do anything else. So I'm going to click download here, open up the zip file. So as you can see, here we have our file Luna with an extension of TTF. Now, to improve compatibility with different browsers, because you never know which browser your visitor is using, we are going to need to have different file extensions for the same font. So if we check real quick here, this comparison table, we have different font formats that work with different browser versions. So in order to optimize that compatibility, we're going to use TTF that we already have, WOFF, and WOFF2. Now there are different fonts that already come with different file extensions, but in this case, since we only have one, we're going to go to Font Squirrel, we're going to click on the generator, and we're going to generate the other two font files we want. So we're going to upload the font here, we're going to leave this at optimal, click yes on the agreement that the fonts you're uploading are legally eligible for web embedding, which means they are either 100% free or you have the license to use them. And then you download your kit. There we go. Now let's open the zip file. There you go. Here we have Luna web font WOFF and WOFF2. So we're going to put this one together with the other one and we're going to delete the rest. We don't need it. Now we have our three files and we're ready to place them on our site. So let's go to Squarespace, go to custom CSS. We're going to add here at font face and open curly brackets. Then we're going to go with font family. We'll leave that blank for now. And then we're going to add source. Like that. Regarding font family, you can use any name you want, but it's best if it's the same name of the font you're uploading. So we're going to put here Luna. Regarding source, we're going to add URLs of where our files are located and we're going to use three of them. So we're going to add three URLs with their respective parentheses. Now to upload the fonts to your site, you're going to click here on manage custom files, add images or fonts, Look for your fonts and start adding them one by one. There we go, there's one. It doesn't matter which order you upload them. Two and three. There we go. We have TTF, WOFF and WOFF2. Now we're going to click inside each of these pair of parentheses. We're going to go back to manage custom files and click once on each type of the file. What that's going to do is add the URL where that file has been hosted. Then we're going to click here on the second one, go with WOFF, and lastly we're going to click between 
the third ones and click on WOFF2 and click Save. Now we have the Luna font family installed on our site. In order to use it, I'm going to open here this in the window so you can see better. Okay, first we're going to change this heading one that we have here. Okay, I want all heading ones to be with this font family, with Luna. So we're just going to add the selector H1 and we're going to add font family Luna. And there you go. Easy. If you click save, there you go. You can see that anywhere where, whoops, yeah, that's something we can change right now. But as you can see, anywhere where you have the H1, the font has been changed. Now, let me open the window again. And to alter a bit that mess that just happened, that's because of the line height. So we can change the line height here real quick. Maybe 1.2 M's. Let's see if that works. That's a little bit better. Let's just edit that here. Maybe four, six. Okay, with six. There we go. Now we have the H1s with Luna. Okay, now how about if we create a new heading? Not H1, not H2, not H3, but we create an H4. We can do that by simply adding a code block anywhere on your site. There we go. And then just creating an H4. Let's say this is an H4. There we go. And we save that. All right, as you can see, here it is. It has a default style. Whoops. It has a default style that we're going to override in just a second. In order to style it, we're going to use the H4 selector instead of the H1. Let's add H4 with the curly brackets. And now we're going to call font family and add Luna. And there you go. Automatically, it changes. Now, I don't like that color, so let's change it here real quick. Say sign nice black. There we go. And that's how you add custom fonts to your Squarespace site using CSS. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up so I know I can keep making more. And leave a comment below if you have any questions for future tutorials. Make sure to check the description box as well, since there will be a link to the blog where you can copy and paste the code that I used in this tutorial. Until next time.